The army came from the north and they're coming from the east. Diane Bima kept close watch as Russian troops moved closer to her small Ukrainian village. We're just southeast of Kiev, so by kind of by the grace of God, it, it, they didn't choose our area first. Bima spent a decade as a Milwaukee public school teacher, five of those years at Allen Field Elementary. Now she and her husband Yuri, who is a member of his region's territorial defense, have been providing shelter for relatives forced from their homes. Tell us about the impact on your family members. They were evacuated from where they were living because they, they were being bombed and they had, to, they had to leave. They were told, go now. Bima's village of Protsiv is not far from Milwaukee's Ukrainian sister city of Irpin. That's where her close friend, Olga Kardash, was forced to flee with her husband and two young sons. They tell us run and you hear, and you hear machine gun, you hear everything. The family behind my husband, the family of four, was shot right there on, on that bridge. Children deserve a happy, free life, not atrocities that I can't even say out loud. Her family has now moved in with relatives about 40 miles from the fighting. Do you think you'll be able to return home? It's my hope and pray. I want to go home. I don't want to go abroad. I don't want to go anywhere. I want to go home. And despite calls for Baima to leave her home, the former MPS teacher plans to stay right where she is. The State Department told me to leave a million times. I got them. They, they've stopped. They've stopped writing. But you've chosen to stay. Why? I stayed because I, I wasn't going to leave my husband. I just wanted to stay and fight the way I could fight. In Milwaukee, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News. Mima says she is incredibly thankful for the support from friends and family here in Wisconsin.